Welcome. All right, so here's a question. Are your children feeling just a little bit of math anxiety? Are you? Let me raise my hand on that one because the truth is math fears really do add up and sometimes as parents we can also get lost in the equation. So there is some good news though this morning and that is solving this problem and it really can be as easy as one, two, three. All right, quick Mary, what's the score root of that? Okay. <laughs> as part of today's Parent Teacher Corner, we welcome Mary Curry, founder of Mango Math, a specialized math curriculum enrichment program designed to help you build a stronger math foundation for your future. Einsteins. Hey Mary, welcome. Thank you for having me. What is the square root of that? <laughs> She's like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I need to put my pencil and paper there. Exactly. <laughs> but it is true that numbers really are a very important part, of course, of our lives. But what is it about math specifically that can make or break a child academically? Early math education is a key indicator on how students will do academically further on. Okay. It is one of those key things that builds uh, confidence that builds confidence across the board in all academic areas. So it's a really important skill that students learn very quickly. Mm -hmm. I love that. You know, but the thing is, you know, as a, as a parent, I'm going to be honest, I think I have a math phobia because I was not good at math growing up and I think I passed that along to my kids because I say, oh, no, mommy doesn't know how to answer that. I'm not smarter than a fifth grader. Call your dad. <laughs> you know what I mean? How can we play a role in making sure that's not the case? Well, you just, you want to make sure that your fears aren't portrayed onto your children. So you don't want to necessarily show that you're nervous about it, but uh, talking about it and problem solving is a great strategy and trial and error is a great strategy. So you want to make sure that your fears aren't being portrayed on them and they come up with this attitude that it's okay not to be good at math, you know, it's it's okay to be negative about math. Mm. You want them to be encouraged to be doing well in math, so staying positive about it. And, and, and I guess being fun and, and making it relatable it probably is a big part of it as well, right? Exactly, exactly. You want to be playing games with them, you want to use the things around you that are um, that they use every day like cooking and building with Legos oh, and things yeah, along yeah, those yeah, lines yeah, yeah. that you want to relate to them on how you know what is this the perimeter how do you double this recipe you know things all the time how do you work with money and how do you you know include tax onto what you're going to spend so always relating uh, everyday skills into math skills. I love these products uh, that you brought here today as, as, as examples and I know that you brought some uh, math crates and some totes talk to me about what we have. Okay so within the math crates and totes and here's the lessons, the totes yep. right here, mm -hmm. and the lessons that come in it are for grades kindergarten through eighth grade, and it has information for a parent so that your anxiety about math is reduced because there's information right here for and the questions parents, which is to great, ask right. and so forth. Mm -hmm. And then simple directions on how to play a game. And the games come, and the activities come with lots of manipulatives that are fun and engaging to use. And by just using dice or cards, you get multiple equations again and again in a fun way as opposed to a paper and pencil way. Oh! <laughs> 21, or is that a different game? <laughs> different game. I think that's a different game. I love cards, and kids love cards, they too. Do. Mm -hmm. They do. So like they to can use, use the cards they as well? They can use the cards as well, and there's lots. We had specially made cards where we had the 11s uh, and 12s and zeros placed instead of the kings, queens, and jacks. Nice. So you have a lot of variety in what numbers you can come up with. Mm -hmm. Lots of fun stuff, but you know what? When we talk about the summertime, and we talk about that brain drain that happens because kids have that two and a half, three months off, how can we keep them engaged and involved and liking math during those summer months so then they don't go back to school in the fall and have to do all this catch-up work. Oh, exactly, and that's very important because kids will lose up to two and a half months of really? learning over the summer, mm -hmm. and then just particularly math. And so you want to be using a lot of manipulatives and games and reinforcing using money and like I said with cooking and just having some fun activities that they are doing again and again that are engaging, that they're adding numbers up and they're using their mental math 
bath and just some really fun activities uh, that you can do. Counting their change at the grocery the store, store, right? Counting at the grocery store, building their uh, perimeter of the castle that they might be creating on the floor, um, talking about, you know, how much uh, to pour into a recipe and doubling that recipe. So there's lots of ways to engage kids in mathematics that are fun and the children will enjoy and it will help them out have that summer learning class. Sounds like a lot of fun. Where can we find Mango Math's products? You can go to our website, which is www.mangomath.com, mm -hmm. and there you'll find our crates and our totes. Mm -hmm. And the crates are uh, 20 lessons per grade level, Good K through 8th grade, and the totes are um, for K through 5th grade, and they're uh, 10 lessons. I'm telling you, some great stuff in there, Mary. Thank you so much for coming oh, by. Good welcome. to meet you. Thank you for having mm -hmm. me. And this simple, fun, and effective formula can help ease some of that math anxiety that we're feeling at home and at school. And for more information on Mango Math's after-school clubs and math enrichment programs, simply visit the website. It's mangomath.com.